Electro, mightiest of all robots. Stand by. The first law is as follows. A robot may not harm a human being, a human being, or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Number two, a robot must obey orders given it by qualified personnel unless those orders violate rule number one. In other words, a robot can't be ordered to kill a human being. Uh, rule number three, a robot must protect its own existence. After all, it's an expensive piece of equipment. Uh, unless that violates rules one or two. A robot must cheerfully go into self-destruction if it is in order to follow an order or to save a human life. Modern society is just years away from dealing with the issue of the rights of robots. To be more specific, the social issue of artificial intelligences having their own sovereignty, in 2012 computers have already become fully integrated into human society. Eventually this technology will lead to true artificial intelligence. Most futurists give us less than 50 years before robots have fully exceeded human computing power. By the time a simple computer program will be able to write and rewrite other computer programs. This means robots will not be equal to humans in intelligence, they will far surpass humans. This is the concept that we must program all robots to be human friendly. Kismet, look at me. Oh, hello. Yes. This is a red too, you know. This is a red horsey. It's very red. Say horse. Red horsey. <laughs> the flaw in friendly artificial intelligence is obvious. A program that can rewrite itself clearly doesn't need to leave code in its program that gives it restrictions. Another train of thought is that humans should abandon creating artificial intelligence altogether. This is a restrictive and unreasonable plan. Creating any sort of law that restricts the development of artificial intelligence will only push such research underground. The last thing society needs is a surprise robot takeover coming from someone's basement. Connection established. Shields activated. Rather, we should admit the inevitability of technological progress and prepare for the coming experiences. Do robots have a soul? Some people believe that a soul, or spirit, occupies the body while on Earth. It is eternal and it possibly existed before manifesting in the body. It will definitely exist upon leaving the body. The soul is the conscious entity that experiences life. It's the you behind your ego and misconceptions. These traits of a soul seem to be globally accepted, while other aspects are still debated. Using the above definition, robots are just as capable as any other entity, as a vehicle for a soul. If a soul can enter a robot and experience life as a robot, that fits the criteria for having a soul. Of course, this line of reasoning opens Pandora's box. If artificial intelligences have souls, then why should they not have equal human rights? 
This question may pose a problem if we are still enslaving them to run our tasks of internet searches, phone calls, etc. Why can't a human be in love with a robot? This concept might be more frightening if your child is telling you this, and of course why couldn't a robot run for political office, which might not be a bad idea. Possible Future Scenarios There are three directions that artificial intelligence may go. The worst scenario, is a complete takeover and domination of the human race as we know it. Just how we currently raise chickens and cattle to be slaughtered for our food, we may be a great source of energy and work to help them do whatever great things they want to do. Somewhere in the middle is a possible future where robots demand equal treatment with humans. This scenario would include letting them vote, run for office, employ humans to do work for income, and other interesting role reversals. The third direction is very human biased. We continue to use them to search the internet, and order food to be delivered by a human or robot or both. As the human race ebbs and flows, and the global population expands. We have only one possible outcome, the true emergence of a robot utopia, 